Hello guys, Della304 here, and I am back again with another room tour. I know I don't usually do these very often anymore. That's because usually most things don't change. But I actually do have a couple of changes that are mildly apparent throughout the room, so we are going to do this again, as always. So, this is the room tour for late October 2015. So I'm going to be doing this exactly how I do it every year, or every time I do it, which is every month or two now. I'm going to start over here and work my way around the room in this direction. So here we are. So over here, not much has changed, although I have relocated the whiteboard that used to be here. It's on this side of the room now. I will, of course, show you that. As such, it kind of looks weird with this poster being as low as it is. I'll, I'll probably fix that at some point. Anyway, yeah, there's the door with jackets and stuff. None of that has really changed. Some things hanging on the wall there. Here we have my bookshelf. I've had this bookshelf for eh, three or four years now, so that's that. Most things haven't changed. I kind of redid a couple of things around here, so I guess we're going to go ahead and go through that. Up here, we have quite a few different little things. I have a plane, um, model plane. I have a few things from school on trips I've been to, um, a bunch of other random crap. And yeah, there's actually a power supply up here. As you may have noticed, my shelves, each shelf has its own LED light strip, which I think looks kind of good. So now, I just was originally using 12-volt power adapters to just snip the end off and, you know, wire it together. But I kind of ran out of those. So I have this really cheap, and we're talking really cheap, we're talking comes with a $50 case, cheap uh, ATX power supply. I believe yeah it's a raid max and it's really crappy so decided to use it for that i have a molex adapter here and then i just spliced it into the led strip kind of interesting i don't know it's <laughs> a lot of redneck engineering going on there but since the outlet this outlet is wired with this light switch over here if i flip this they all turn off so that's kind of neat and you also may be able to hear the case or the fan in this power supply since I'm just using a paper clip to kind of jump the pins there it's over there anyway since I'm using a paper clip to keep it on uh, the fan runs full speed all the time which I guess is good because it's a cheap component anyway yeah that's a little detail on my lighting system I have going here so the this first shelf here is kind of part of my eye shrine these two shelves are just Apple stuff exclusively so I have my MacBook Pro with Retina Display Box, I have a bunch of um, cable and adapter boxes, Apple Care for the MacBook, a little card thing. We have, this is actually an Apple Genius employee training um, flashcard set, kind of interesting. Got it from a friend, kind of weird. It's very cool though. Uh, here we have the original uh, Mighty Mouse, Bluetooth Mighty Mouse, so there's that. If I'm not mistaken, that's what that is. Here we have the optional numpad for an old Macintosh. My friend Chris gave this to me. He got it at a thrift store. Kind of neat. iPad mini box, iPod touch 4th gen, and iPod shuffle 2nd gen boxes. Down here is kind of the iPhone and iPod shrine. So I have a ton of different boxes for different models of iPhone. I have the, three, the iPhone 3G, 3GS, 4, 4S, 5, 6, and 6S boxes. Kind of neat. Oh, and I have a 5C box as well. You can see there's another iPhone 6 box. Kind of interesting. And then I also have the little Steve Jobs cube that I got off eBay about four years ago when Steve Jobs passed away. Anyway, yeah, <laughs> that's kind of the whole thing there. Here we have the original iPhone. This is an 8 gigabyte model, fully functional. There we have a second gen iPod shuffle. So that's what that, that other box up there came from. But I have the dock for it. So I kind of just, I have the dock for both of them. So I kind of just set them up right there. It looks kind of neat. Of course, um, getting to the most recent stuff, have my iPhone 6S box. Here we have an original iPod mm, wall adapter. It's just one amp. Don't be fooled by the large size. iPod Nano 4th Gen, iPod Mini, and the iPod, or the HP iPod, actually. Kind of interesting. So there's that. None of these work. Well, I think the 4th Gen Nano works, but the battery only lasts about 10 minutes on it. So there's that. There is the shell of an iPod Touch 4th Generation. There's no parts in it. There we have an iPhone 3G that's busted, an iPhone 3GS that I recently got for $3 that is fully functional. 
And here we have two iPhone 4s's. This one is a Sprint model. This is an is a 16 gig AT&T model. This is actually my backup phone. If anything ever happens to my 6s or I need a spare phone for whatever reason, there it is. Um, these three and that phone is fully functional. So that is my iPhone shelf. I know I'm probably spending way too long on this, but kind of wanted to get that out of the way. Here are all my other cell phones. Um, I probably should do another updated collection at some point, but anyway, there is the complete um, iPhone, or no, the other cell phones collection shelf. Down there's a bunch of books and stuff. Here we have my dog bed. There's my dog, obviously. Here we have the dog toys. My dog's name is Lucas, if you didn't know. So, yeah. Anyway, there we have a plant holder with a couple of plants on it air purifier, we have mirror doors on my closet, American flag, here we have me, what is up people. In here it's kind of a mess, right here we just have a bunch of software discs, motherboards, product boxes, and the rest is kind of just a bunch of crap. Over here we just have my shirts and stuff, and then down there is kind of shipping supplies and other, bra other, bo uh, bleh, other boxes. So there's that. Over here, this is entirely new. So, many of you may remember the Dell Optiplex 760 computer. And uh, I did a video on it back when I first got it. But um, I ended up giving it to my friend Chris. He was going to buy it off me eventually. But turns out it was not powerful enough for what he wanted to do with it. I think he was trying to run a server or something off of it. I can't really remember. But anyway, here is the setup. I decided to just take all of my old leftover peripherals. And you may notice that that monitor used to be on my desk over there. We'll get to that. Anyway, I took all of my old peripherals that I had lying around. I used to use all of these as my main, but, you know, I upgraded over the years and kept the old ones. Anyway, I set it all up, and now we have a nice little computer setup over here. I even have a webcam because that's my old webcam. So, yeah, it's complete. I mean, here we have the computer, the Dell Plex 760. It's a Core 2 Duo machine with 3 gigs of RAM and an 80 gig hard drive. Here we have my older Asus VS208 20 inch monitor, 1600 by 900. Logitech K360 keyboard, Logitech M505 mouse. Behind there, we have just cheap cyber acoustic speakers, better than nothing. And we also have a pair of older style Apple earbuds in case I ever need those for some reason. So, yeah, kind of neat. And then back here we have the power supply for the Optiplex 760. Freaking huge, because it doesn't have an internal power supply. Back there, just a bunch of wires. And then we have this little lamp. I used to have these wall lamps over there, but I kind of removed them, because they're not really needed over there. So I decided to take one. The other one's over there. Decided to take one and mount it over here on the wall, because I used to have the green lamp, as you can see there, over here, but it didn't look very nice. And it was too bright because it has a 100 watt bulb in it. Anyway, mounted this on the wall, stick a, stuck a smaller CFL bulb in it, and now we have just a nice little um, lamp for this setup over here. Here we have the D-Link wireless adapter for the computer. So, yeah, kind of neat. Nice little setup there. Pretty cool. Damn, we're already eight minutes into this video. This could be a long tour for sure. Anyway, moving on. I don't really want to rush anything, so that's why. Yeah, anyway, nice little setup decent for a secondary Windows machine. Figured I had all that stuff lying around, why not, right? So here we have my other laptops. That is the Dell Attitude D600, D500, Compact, Preserio C700, and the Dell Inspiron 7500. Over here, just random computer stuff, RAM and such. In there is a bunch of crap. In there are my files, which I don't want to show you. Over here, we have the Dell PowerEdge 2300. It's been sitting over here for a good year or so. Um, I don't really use it that often because it's a Pentium 3 rig. I mean, what am I going to do with that? Moving on, we have my school backpack sitting on top of that. Um, yeah, I kind of cleaned it up over here so I can actually scoot my chair over here and use this occasionally, I guess. On the wall, we have some pictures of old computers. Those have been up there for quite a few years now. There we have a Lamborghini Gallardo, and over there is an Enzo Ferrari on my wall. I've had those up there for at least four or five years now. There we have my neon clock from Walmart, so yeah, kind of neat. There we have a calendar, and then here, of course, we have my bed. So it's been pretty much the same, it's just a small twin bed. Kind of sucks, but oh well, this room is small. There, here we have my dog, Lucas. Never met him. Here he is. He's a good boy. He's four years old. Hey, Lucas. 
Uh, there we have a Vornado 633, if I did, can remember correctly, fan. So I have one of those. There we have a uh, little, um, I don't know what you call it, but you stick it there and I can sit up in bed and stuff. Kind of neat. Pillow. Um, everything else is kind of self-explanatory. Got some stuff up here. Random crap up here. There's a scale for shipping eBay stuff, which I don't really do anymore. But yeah, there you go. Uh, there's another lamp here. Some speakers there. Oh, I actually kind of forgot about those speakers. Hmm. Thinking about moving them over there, but I don't think I have enough room, so whatever. Yeah, these speakers have been up here for since like 2013, unused. I think they still work though. Yeah, so I can still use them for whatever. Anyway, down there, alarm clock and a bunch of random other junk. In these drawers, kind of messy. Just got some cables and the crap I don't really use. Textbooks for school. Over here, Mostly my, well, I got my iFixit toolkit, another toolkit, a bunch of Dell chargers, spare RAM, hard drives, graphics cards, all in here. Can't really get to it. So, yeah, sorry about that. Over here, we have just a little nightstand thing. It's from Ikea. There we have all my awards on the wall, from, mainly from school, actually. Over here, we have a Power Mac G3 blue and white. Don't really have anywhere to put it, so that's where it ended up. Over here is a bunch of nightstandy stuff. I've got some markers for the whiteboard that I mentioned earlier. I also moved that over, you know, I moved it from over there to over here. And uh, yeah, there's the remote for my receiver, car keys. I got 30 pin dot connector, or cable, sorry. Uh, tape, stapler, gum, other random crap. In here, again, random crap, including a 256 gig solid, solid state drive. Keep saving that for a rainy day. Got some memory cards that I don't use. There's the activated SIM from my tablet. More on that later, probably. Tools, other crap. And here, uh, again, just a bunch of other crap. My camera's about to die, so I'm going to stop for now. Okay, so now I'm attached to the wall because my camera battery's dead. We're going to keep this thing going, though, because I definitely want to finish this video. Should have charged my camera in advance, but oh well. Um, moving on, so yeah, just in this drawer, like I said, is just a bunch of crap. Microfiber, scissors, and box for my case, among other things. One terabyte hard drive, cases, and other things in here. So that's that. Uh, down here is obviously my charging station. I'm charging my camera currently. I have micro USB for Android and other devices. I have my lightning cable for my iPhone. And then the little charger for my camera's battery. My Canon PowerShot, which we'll get to. Moving over here, we just have Priority Mailbox and the iBook G3. Kind of a long story on that, but yeah, it's, there it is. Some tissues and some alcohol, so... Yeah, it's for mainly cleaning stuff, like thermal paste and etc. And yeah, obviously that is that. So, over here, here is the main setup. Here is where I spend most of my time in this room. So it's on the IKEA Gallant desk. I've had that desk for, I think since October 2013. So I have my desk for about two years now. Very nice desk. And then I have a cheap staples chair. There's another Vornado fan on the floor. So yeah, that is that. I am going to go ahead and cop a squat here, and we'll go through the desk setup. So again, um, okay, my cable is getting tied up here. Sorry about this, guys. Anyway, here is the setup in all its glory. So starting in the middle with the center, the whole heart of the setup, here we have my 15-inch late 2013 Retina MacBook Pro. It's got a 2 gigahertz i7 and has 8 gigs of RAM with a 256 gigabyte hard drive. It's running OS 10 El Capitan very well, by the way. New update just came out today. Here we have my Cooler Master Quickfire TK mechanical keyboard with Cherry MX blue switches. One thing I, one thing that I never gave up when I switched from the PC to the Mac. I love this keyboard so much. So that's that. Here we have my Rokat Savu gaming mouse, the LED actually died in it so I just turned it off but there is that so that is the main setup over here we have my new monitor which is cool this is an LG Flatron E2242 21.5 inch 1080p monitor I got this monitor from Manly he traded it to me 
and I traded him my LG G Pad tablet plus a cheap LG smartphone for that. And I also got the UPS down there and another computer that y'all haven't seen yet. That's fine. Anyway, we'll get to that later. Here we have my other monitor. This is an Asus VX288. It is also 21.5 inch 1080p. So I now have matching resolution monitors on both sides, which is really nice. You wouldn't believe how much I actually really like this monitor. It's got really good, good colors, good contrast, etc. It's just a very nice panel. So that's that. Obviously, we have lamps on each side of the desk there, and then Bose 151 speakers on each side as well. Here we have a my water bottle, cleaning cloths for cleaning, stuff like my phone, some random stuff back there, hand sanitizer, um, screen cleaning fluid, that kind of thing. Down there, just have a candle and a fake diamond-looking thing, and an SD card slot or an SD card, I should say. So, yeah, that's that. That's kind of a whole main setup. Little bits and bobs here. We have my ear pods. I'm currently hooked up to the speakers right now. But, yeah, and there is part of my IKEA dioder. So if you look behind my monitors here, you can see that I have LED strips behind both of these displays. I also have one behind the computer there. Not sure how well you can see that. And I also have one taped up to that lamp there. So what I can do is I can actually turn all these lights off and just push this and you can see that the LEDs actually light up. And at night this looks really sweet. So yeah, there's that. Here we have my phone. This is the 64 gigabyte iPhone 6S in gold unlocked. Really, really loving this phone overall. Of course I did a review on it. So that's that. Very nice phone. It's in the Spigen Slim Armor updated for the iPhone 6S. So there's that. Behind there, obviously, we just have a lamp. And then you might have seen that, just my cable -y mess behind my monitors. But you can't really see it while you're using the, the machine, so it doesn't really matter. My MacBook charger has a cable, or no, juice box. That's what it's called. It's just meant to help the wire, not fray. That was a Kickstarter project I funded. Um, going up here, we have my Microsoft Cinema HD webcam, 1080p. Decent little camera. Takes a while to focus sometimes, but whatever. It's a webcam. It doesn't really matter. Back, and then next to my MacBook Pro here, we have my 3 terabyte Western Digital external hard drive, USB 3.0. So I, use, I have a 2 terabyte partition for my storage, and then a 1 terabyte partition for my Time Machine backups. So there's that. So that is basically the whole setup. I don't really think I missed anything there. Oh yeah, and then we have my Canon PowerShot SX510HS um, bridge camera. That's what I use for taking pictures most of the time. Although I use my phone more than it, but yeah. I use that for my video thumbnails and such. And so down here we just have uh, kind of a wiry mess. <laughs> this is another thing that I got in trade with the LG monitor. I got an APC back UPS uh, uninterruptible power supply so that's nice I have my MacBook Pro and a monitor hooked up to it currently very nice Manly did say he does not know how long it runs off the battery but if we ever have a power outage at least everything won't cut out abruptly so that's nice uh, trash can which is full that I need to empty there we have my Sony receiver I have the model number escapes me I'm sorry there we have an energy 100 watt subwoofer can't I can't remember who owns Energy. It's like a subsidiary of a more well. I think it's Polk Audio that owns Energy. But anyway, if I remember correctly, it's a 10-inch sub. I know it's a 100 watt for for a fact. So it's a decent little sound system. I know y'all are all the audio files are gonna be like, ugh, Bose. Anyway, it sounds pretty darn good. I mean, I don't need anything super high end. I actually mo I actually use headphones a lot of the time. Down there, uh, obviously, you got my wiry mess. I have a USB hub taped to my desk leg. <laughs> kind of pathetic, but anyway. There we have a sharp alarm clock. That's for, you may ask, why the hell is it down there? Well, if I'm laying in bed and I look over here, I can see the time. That's kind of neat. There and up there was a Netgear Ethernet switch that I no longer use. Um, moving down here, just a friggin' mess of cables. Over there, we have a little storage container with a PowerBook G4 15 inch on top of it. Over there we have my computer bag and a Vornado 533 fan. So, 
Um, yeah, okay, I missed a couple of things. We're going to go through that now. Obviously, here's the window to outside. It's got some knickknacks, a wristwatch, that kind of thing up here on the windowsill. Up there, stuff I haven't touched in literally years, as you might be able to tell with all the dust. Um, you know, my car, I obviously have a Mitsubishi Eclipse, so I used to collect little model versions of it. Anyway, yeah, I have a couple Evos over there. Uh, stuffed animals, cards. This is kind of just a bullcrap shelf that I've been piling stuff on for years. There is an Alfa Romeo car poster, again, just like the other one's been up here for years. There's the bag for my MacBook Pro, and then my iPhone 6 and 6S that I got. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. I've shown you my whole room, finally. This is going to be quite a long tour, and I'm not really going to edit it very much. Um, so, there you are. That it was quite a long room tour. But anyway, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I don't do these too often, so I like to go pretty much pretty in-depth with them. But, yeah, thank you guys for watching the setup tour. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in another video.